shit up. Um, so today, to follow the tradition, and this is a tr- tradition that I want to keep, is I am going to play a indie game for a little bit every every Saturday because I think that it's fun. And this is a small game called Arcoil by uh, Mark Tiev, I think is that's his name. Or Mike, not Mark, I'm sorry. Um, and uh, he's a super cool guy. We're friends on Twitter. He spent some time making this, and um, he did everything in this. He uh, did the music, the graphics, and everything, so it's, it's, it's super cool. Um, this game is kind of like Asteroids, except there is only... Uh, uh, the shoot and the thrust are the same button, so it gets chaotic very fast. I played this for like 10 minutes uh, just to make sure that it worked on stream and all that other stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mess with this for a little bit. Um, oh yeah, I can change my my dude. Um, but Mike is a is a super cool guy. He also works for uh, God. Now I can't remember. Oh, okay. Uh, Shell Games, who did um, Orion Trail and uh, something else, I think. Okay, so here we go. So, so if I tap the button, I shoot, and if I hold down the button, I thrust. And it's very, very hard. <laughs> but I, uh, I really like the idea of taking something simple and. Uh, also, I'm, I'm super bad at twin-stick shooters, so one thing that I, I like to do is just... Ah. Uh, this is not helping. It kind of helps. <laughs> oh, I lost it. So all those are temp- temporary. Shield, 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 shield! How did I- how am I still alive? Nope. <laughs> so the asteroids are really there just for, uh, getting your way. I don't think they actually hurt you. Ah, I lost most of my shield. Ugh. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> So those blow up and... Oh, either I won or not. <laughs> hey, Carbonic. Yeah. Please respond. Realize your signal just beyond Vestia. Test for success. Follow these fail-safe protocol. Clear all obstacles and re-engage our coil. Re-emerge near the rendezvous site. So, yeah, Carbonic, if you missed it... This, um, this game is, uh, kind of like Asteroids, except for, oh shit, except your thrust, nope, your thrust and your shoot are the same buttons, and it's really hard. And I'm really bad at twin stick shooters anyway. So, um... really bad at twin stick shooters. As much as I like them. And maybe this would be easier with a mouse? I don't know. No, I don't want to go that way. He definitely did this intentionally, like this was his idea all along. Uh, I'm gonna die like right away. 
I gotta get that. Gotta get it, no! Nope, I'm not gonna make it. Oh god, this is so hard. I really like- I really like the idea of this game though, even though I suck at it. Um, so I think I have it on like easy mode right now, so I can't really, I can't really officially game over, which is, is good because I'd like to see more content of the game rather than just being like, rrr, rrr, I died again, let's start over. Um, did I win? Did I beat the level? Or did I crash it? Speaking of bugs or features, I think I found a bug. <laughs> I'll pass this on to Mike when I uh, when I see it. Let's start over. It's okay. Let's try a different pattern. That was probably my problem. I didn't have the right pattern. This also, I believe, has a co-op mode, which is pretty cool. The thing is, it's like, I could just sit in the corner, but I don't think that's really how it's supposed to be played. Thank goodness the asteroids don't hurt you. I think part of the problem that I have with this, and this is, this is, like, totally on me, not part of the, not a problem of the game. Um, is that I have to I have to look at my ship to know where I'm going. But when I play these types of games, I um cosmic boomerang. When I play these types of games, I want to look at um, where oh, geez, where I'm shooting, not where I'm going. And unfortunately, I have to do both. And again, that's that's a limitation on my brain. No. Okay, let's get it. Mask condenser. Mask condenser. Oh, I'm tiny. I can't see my guy. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Is that the boomerang? Cosmic boomerang. <laughs> Yeah, take that, bad guys. I'm getting a little bit better at this, though, I think. Trans-dimensional engine. Is that, is that, is that good? <laughs> okay, that's the... Is it, is the, did the trans-dimensional engine, like, warp me to the next level? That'd be kind of cool. Get out of here. Ah. You're so good at dodging me. <laughs> I think I'm getting a little better. No, back off. These little saw blade guys are the worst, though. God damn it. Because of that. Eh, get out of here. I don't like that either. It's so hard to control. I'm safe in the corner, right? I'm not safe in the corner. Ah! Boomerangs. Oh, see, I don't want it to come back to me because then they bounce around more. Oh, those are bad. Okay. No! This is really hard. So I see up in the top, I didn't notice this before, but there's like a limited amount of ammo, which I shouldn't be wasting on, uh, like, movement. 
hands. Oh, there's so much. Oh, shoot. There's so much you have to maintain in this. Ah. So I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna play this for another like 10, 15 minutes, see how far I can get, and then I'm gonna move on to the game development stuff, um, which is, oh my goodness. Ah. Oh, that's a shield. Okay. I guess I should have figured that out. Side bullets? Oh. Nope. <laughs> Went right down the middle. Whoa. No invulnerability. That's okay. I mean, I do like the aesthetic of this game. It died in my most popular tweets. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really read chat while this game is playing, huh? It's not fair that you have shields. You have a lot of shields. Is this like a boss? See, the problem is he can move and shoot all he wants. That's not fair. Getting a little better. Ugh, never mind, I just got hit. <laughs> I'm glad there's no penalty for hitting the walls either, holy crap. Castle. Ooh, I like that. Me dying and showing the message you died is my most popular tweet, so they annoyed by that, <laughs> yeah. The rendezvous site, where are you? If you're damaged that arc coil engine, you're still using it. No telling where he might be taking you. That again, it's not like you've got any other options. Good luck, Captain. <laughs> oh, so many dudes. I like the question. Oh, now they're shooting. My castle. <laughs> Nope. Don't run into bad guys. It's the tied and true method of just shooting everywhere and hoping something hits. Yay, I did it. Through skill alone. This game's really hard. Oh yeah, just shoot myself right into a bad guy. There, what could go wrong? I need a turbo button. <laughs> You got flamethrowers? Why do you have flamethrowers? That's not fair. I like this. No. <laughs> it just shows up and shoots me. No. See, this is this. I'm gonna like die right away. I think that was one of the... I want that spread shot, but clearly that's not going to happen. Um, I think that was one of the... Hey, they can hurt each other, so that's kind of cool. One of the one of the marketing tweets that uh, Mike put out, where it's just like, flamethrow in space, we don't care. Or I don't care. It's, it's just him. God, I suck at this. <laughs> I would like to watch somebody who's good at this, though, because I think it would be really impressive to, uh... To, uh, see somebody who actually has skills to play this game. Oh my god. This game is really hard. I think Mike does streams on this, too. 
Look at that. Look at all those points I'm not getting. Oh, I died right away. I think a little bit of invulnerability time would be nice because... There are definitely situations where I respawn and then die almost immediately. Which kind of sucks. Look at that drive-by. Pro gamer. Woo! Next level. I really like the effects for, like... Distance traveled. Kill a parsecs. Hostiles detected. <laughs> hey, Trim, how you doing, man? So I don't really need the- oh, I I'm assuming the red ones just hurt you. Oh, the red ones turn into alien monsters. Cool. I don't really need the one up because I'm playing in free mode. Yeah, this is called R-Coil, um, and it is like Asteroids, except that your thrust button and your shoot button is the same button, and uh, it's very hard. <laughs> yeah, see, that's, not, that's pretty unfair. I'll have to, I'll have to message that, or message him that. I don't think that would be too hard to, to fix, but I can imagine if you're playing like a game that's not in easy mode, and you don't have infinite lives, where if you get really far and then all of a sudden you get like, stuck. And like in that infinite loop there, that would be really frustrating, oh my god. <laughs> Leave me alone, stupid aliens. Ha! I won. Nah. Nah. No! I want that smart or shark. I could get it. I'm gonna get it. Oh, yeah, I don't like that one. It's shrink, not shark. I've heard, I've heard about that dog. I don't know much about it aside from that, though. Glad you're trying new stuff, though. That's important. Okay. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm done with this for now. This game is really fun, but holy cow, it's hard. I'm gonna have to try it a little bit more later. So it does have like co-op and dual modes. Which is cool. And I actually turned off some of the like uh screen effects because uh I've it was giving me a little bit of a headache. But uh this game's cool. I like it. I um Aside, the only the only problem I have with it is that respawn. You need to be invulnerable for that for like a couple seconds so you can get your bearings. Um, 